Hey guys, here on Homechem with one of the principal investigators, world renowned scientist. Got my stuff. I'm a little worried. So, last night, after talking with you and Marina all day, we're gonna go outside for a walk. And we go, oh, we should put some mosquito repellent on our baby. And then Absolutely. we thought, should we? Should we not? I don't know. And then we thought, oh no, sunscreen too. Because we're talking about particles and breathing all this stuff and adding chemicals to your skin and how it soaks in and gets in your blood. Do you, if you had a baby, would you put this on your baby's skin? And this is DEET free, which it's, I imagine is better. It but, is DEET free. But now I know that lemon is a VOC. And... But remember, you shouldn't be scared of all of the VOCs. So lemon is perfectly safe to inhale. And I think the risks associated with not putting on mosquito repellent are much stronger than any risks of inhaling a few VOCs that we always do. Now, okay. I would be careful about applying products that have known carcinogenic properties. So things like DEET, those are known to have some health problems if you inhale too much. Okay. And I think we don't understand how a baby's lungs work. This. Okay, sunscreen. Yeah. Yes. You use sunscreen, right? I use sunscreen. Okay. I'm wearing some right now. Okay. Yes. I always wear it outside. Would you rather wear a hat than put sunscreen all over your face? My mother's a doctor. I do both. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> and I'm white. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For, yeah. So white people out there, this is, a, this is okay. Oh, spray yeah. versus lotion is a really good question. The person in me who doesn't want to get skin cancer, mm -hmm. I say whatever gets that sunscreen over all of your exposed parts as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But the indoor air scientist in me says, no, no, try not to inhale any more particles than you need to. Things to think about, everybody out there. So this is the whole point of Home Chem, of our involvement in Home Chem. Not, I'm not going to speak for Delphine and, and Marina, but for us, what we're trying to do is get people's minds to explode a little bit and start thinking about the things that we're just being handed. Like, here, drink this milk that's pasteurized, that's got a bunch of dead bacteria in it. Dr you know, eat this, don't do that, don't, uh, you know, put your seatbelt on, et cetera, et cetera. Some of these things do make perfect sense. And it's good that we have public Absolutely. relations campaigns to get us to do this. But, like, you know, there's a bunch of stuff that's being sold to us on the home performance side, like new windows, more insulation, upgraded HVAC system. Unless you understand the whole system of your home's performance, this doesn't make any sense. If you understand the system of how things work, then you can apply and make informed decisions about things, which is why I think having an expert. So everybody, here's uh, Delphine's cell phone number. <laughs> here's her, Dr. Marina Vance. Hi. Same question. Deep free mosquito repellent, okay? For babies? Yes, I mean, you you don't want DEET. DEET is, is, has been proven to be very toxic. Okay. Um, I think we need to pause because there's a train. Well, this is a vlog. We can do whatever we yeah, want. I, I don't know what else is in there. Um, usually it's natural, this natural plant extract. Oil of lemon eucalyptus, which yeah. is a VOC Great. that they're manufacturing right now that yes. I know. It's a, it's a terpene that they're making. Yes. Other ingredients, 70%. 70% other ingredients. So we don't really know mo what's in most of it. It says approximately 65% P-methane-3 and 8-diol. So... And that was a mosquito, by the way, because I have not put this on. <laughs> did it not work? The... Oh, you no, didn't I, put no, it on? No, I'm not going, I'm not putting this on my skin until you tell me it's okay. <laughs> my first thought, it's probably okay. Okay. The most important thing is that it's deep free. Okay, cool. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Oh, so many issues about sunscreen. So you can put on the clear stuff that goes on your skin on, a, you know, it, it doesn't look white at all. And then there's the really white creamy stuff. Okay. So they're made of fundamentally different things. Um, the clear stuff has been usually full of homosalate, oxybenzone, PABA. These have been shown to be pretty bad for human health. I mean, it's not going to kill you tomorrow, but it could affect the way your hormones work in your body. So, so if you've now, looked it up online, you might have seen those. And this one actually says because it's the organic brand that you get off the organic shelf. Right. It's it made says without, without all of this stuff. So we're reading off of the label that says it's without all of this dangerous stuff. But At then... At point, you turn it over and find out what it is God, in it. It doesn't have any oxybenzone. But if you turn around it's in it and you look at what it has, it has avobenzone. So I know oxybenzone has been tested and shown to be not great for you. And then they go in and they substitute that for something else. And has that's called a... Avobenzone. It's what we call a regrettable substitution sometimes. 
We don't know if this is the case because I don't think, I don't know if Avo Benzone. Av avocados. <laughs> Avo Benzone, maybe it's derived from avocados, I don't know. Um, until somebody proves that the substitution is actually okay, we can't really tell if it's any better. Because the bottom line is no one is regulating what chemical they substitute. If something has been outlawed, you're allowed to use literally anything else. Anything but that one thing. So then you can use a close cousin or maybe a, a sister product. That might have the same sister or compound. worse health effects. Yeah, at least okay. similar. Okay. Yeah. So, not trying to scare everybody overly, although I sometimes do get a little like, ah, the spray stuff. Yeah. Um, but think about things and this is I think this is really important to discuss because you're you're being sold things all the time right on television mm -hmm. on the bus on the plane and the labels gotta, are hard to read and hard to understand it's all of these funky chemical compounds that I can't even pronounce right and I'm not a we shouldn't have a government kind of a person mm -hmm. but you got to watch out for your own family you got to make decisions for yourself because this stuff is it's a, it's a if you're using it society. every day you know you're gonna get exposed to it over the course of a long period of time, right? Yeah. So, so it's really good to think decisions. about what you're using. Yeah, if you're gonna take a risk, know that you're taking a risk, making a calculated risk. Mm -hmm. Keep tuned to all this stuff that we're finding out. We'll see you tomorrow.